Hi guys, Judy here. It's, uh, oh, I don't know, 5 a.m. in the morning. I love this when we get to fall back because I get an hour extra sleep, it feels as if. Um, so I was, I've been up since four and um, I just, this has really been on my heart. I meant to make a video sooner, but um, I really need to get this out there to the bride of Christ who's patiently waiting for our Lord's glorious return to come and rapture us up out of here before war starts and and calamity and tribulation. Um, so I just want to give a reminder of the prophetic words that he gave my son when he was 10, when he landed on him and made him a prophet for three to four months. Um, I need to, uh, and I need to clarify when I say this, sorry, stop. Um, this is a thus says the Lord. This isn't me saying I think I guess this is from the Lord to you today I say this with confidence um I was just living my life as everyone else minding my own business working paying bills loving God living my life raising my family and I came home one day and our life completely changed because God had fell on my son and and it it I quit my job for two years and I've been waiting for the Lord ever since I've since gone back to work. Um, cause I'm, cause God made it a regular day as in the days of Noah. But for those two years, I was sort of set, a, set apart and, and just filled with, it, it was just a glorious, it, it, it had its trials, but it, I mean, it still is every day with Jesus is glorious. Um, but I'm telling you, I am responsible and I do it joyfully, not because I'm going to be in trouble with God if I don't make these videos. But um, he told me to finish strong and to continue to encourage you right up until we got here. He told me that I needed to finish the course and to continue to encourage the bride. So here's my encouragement to you today, bride. And I do it with a joyful heart. And, um, and I want to tell you that the bride will not be here. I don't care all the people that you're hearing on YouTube saying they're hearing the Lord and saying all these things. I'm not going to say that I, I'm not going to speak against them, but I'm going to tell you what I do know. And if it goes in conflict with all these other, there are false prophets in the land. Okay. So if it goes in conflict, what I'm telling you, then you can just throw it away. But I'm telling you the truth of mighty Jehovah God. And you ask him, is this lady right? You know, <laughs> But I, I, I'm making this video because my heart goes out to people who are in any way feeling um, intimidated or afraid about what's about to happen in this earth and that people that are prepping and all this stuff. Here's what the Lord says to you today. Bride, do not be afraid. Bride, do not be afraid. Bride, do not be afraid. And this is what he told my son before he took his spirit off of him and and this is the main message that he gave my son. There were so many messages, but he kept saying over and over again, and my son would prophesy and preach and preach it out loud in a little 10 year old voice. And he would say, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid, Bri. When you see all these things coming, you're going to see things and you're, it's going to cause you to fear and it's going to cause you to want to prep and save yourself. You can't save yourself. And what God would tell my son is when we see these things, but don't worry, bride, you won't be here for it. So what we're seeing right now, God, uh, guys, what we're seeing right now is the increase of birth pangs. This is not judgment yet. Great judgment is coming to Babylon. Babylon will be judged, which is America. But the bride will not be here for it. I repeat, you will not be here for this. Sorry, my phone's going off. Um, Bride. You will not be here. You will be taken up out of here. And this is what he told my son. And he knew that people would be afraid. That's why he kept telling. God would not tell you do not be afraid unless he knew things were coming that were going to make you afraid. He's so good. He tells us, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Because he knew. Because if he hadn't landed on my son, guys, I'd be the biggest prepper. Because I already was a prepper before he landed on my son. Because I saw things. And I'm an intelligent, awake human being. So I saw things. But when he landed on my son... I still have all the tents and all the other supplies, but I do not have the food because we ate through it because, um, I, you know, I knew that we weren't going to need it because the Lord promised us through a 10 year old prophet. And that's a gift to all of us is that we would not be here. He was going to take us up out of here. 
So am I saying, you know, use wisdom. I mean, we have water because our water is disgusting here in Cali. So we have jugs of water in the garage and we purify our water and all that. But that's just common sense because, um, you know, but uh, I have some food in the garage, but it's not prepper food. It's just because I go to Costco. Okay. I just live day to day knowing that the Lord is coming every day. Okay. And, um, you know, he's coming, right? You are not going to be here. I know the migrant caravans are coming and people are saying, oh, civil war, oh, be stocked up, civil war and, and martial law and all that. These things are coming. But the peace holders of this earth are here. And I'm speaking particularly of America because America is the first nation to be judged and to go down after the rapture. It'll be um, five days later, we'll be destroyed in one hour by nuclear war. This, thus says the Lord from a 10 year old prophet. So I'm not just speaking out of nowhere. I'm telling you, this is all from God. This is, I'm saying this confidently. I'm not saying I think, I feel, which it's okay to be like that. It is okay to say, guys, when I was praying today, here's what I was feeling. Pray about it. Just go to the Lord. That is wonderful. God, that's how he works it in the body. He works it in the body of Christ by us praying and feeling things and getting a sense of things. And then there's also other gifts in the body, which are called the gift of prophecy, where the Lord speaks through a prophet. And this is not a negotiable item. This is thus says the Lord. And that's what happened to our family. That's what happened to my son. So, um, I, uh, I, I know many people aren't even listening anymore. They're like, oh, you're that lady whose son God fell on him. And, and, you know, it was really big back in the day in 2013 and 2014. But now it's like, but I don't care. Even if two people are listening, God loves you. And, and I make these videos because I love God. And he tells me, get up and make a video. I get up and tell people not to be afraid. Tell them how much I love them, Judy. Tell them how much I care and I've not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And do not worry about each day. Do not worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Just trust me for each day. And tell the bride that I'm coming, that you're going to see all these things about to come, but you won't be here for it. He showed my son horrible things. War. He showed him a 14.6 earthquake in Texas. He saw people just literally being flung out of their cars, but... God showed it to him in cartoon version so he wouldn't be scared. And it made my son laugh, but it was a serious message that he was saying. He's like, it's going to happen, guys. Destruction is coming. And I know people are thinking the dollar is going to drop and, and you need to stir up for food for six years and six months and all that, guys. We are the peace holders as long as the bride of Christ is here. Do you not see your power? You're Christ. You're standing here. You don't know how powerful you are, bride. The very fact that I'm standing in California is what's keeping California from the great tsunami and the great quake that will come after I leave. Everyone, every bride is standing in a different state across the United States of America and across the world. And you're holding the peace. But when you're taken up out of here in a blink of an eye in a moment, there'll be multiple raptures, multiple taking, takings away. There's different translations he showed my sense, but the final worldwide rapture where all the children are taken, the final one where the 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 final bride the final are taken that is when it starts that's when judgment starts but while you're here bride god loves you and you're holding the peace and what you're seeing and what you might be a little bit afraid of are the birth pangs but god says don't be afraid of the birth pangs as they increase that i'm coming i told you in revelation you can read it in your Bible that there would be an increase of all these things, earthquake, violence, men, lovers of themselves, volcanoes, all these things. It's going to happen, but I'm coming. And take heart and rejoice, God. He's, guys, the Lord is coming. And Jesus told me, because a lot of people feel guilty because they're like, I feel bad because I'm looking for the rapture more than for Jesus. Jesus is the rapture. Knock it off. Don't let the devil fool you. All I think about 24-7 is the rapture. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. That's what he said. I am the resurrection. Jesus told me one day, I am the rapture. And I was like, oh. Because I was like, God, I'm looking for you so much that I'm losing sight of my love for you. He's like, no, I am the rapture, silly. You know the season you're in. You know the time you're in. You love me. You want me. I am the rapture. I am the resurrection, he said when he... 
when he um, departed from here. So guys, if you're on the edge of your seats looking every day and you're just so excited to see him, it's because you love him. The devil's using everything to condemn the bride. Don't fall for it. You should be looking for the rapture like you're looking for Jesus because Jesus and the rapture are one. That's what he told me one day because people were telling me, all you're looking for is the rapture. You should be doing this for Jesus. You should be doing that. And I said, Lord, am I doing that? He said, I am the rapture. When you're looking for me, because see, we're in the season of the rapture. All the Lord wants you to do is look up to the skies and uh, and wait and anticipate his appearing bride. He's so excited to see you and he wants you to be excited to see him. And he wants it to take over your every thought, obsession of being with your groom. He loves that. He wants you to be completely obsessed with getting out of here, completely obsessed with seeing him because you love him and you can't wait to see him. And we're all at different levels in our love and devotion to him. But who cares? We're all at different places. Duh. We're individuals. Okay. And <laughs> don't be intimidated by somebody else's walk. And I've been walking with him for over 20 years. So I have, I'm seasoned. Okay. I, I have a little more confidence in him, but if you just got to know him a day, a day ago, you can still have this amount of confidence because the gift comes to those who seek him with a whole heart. That's why it doesn't matter. But it does matter in a way in that I'm able to encourage you and tell you guys, trust me, I'm telling you, I've been walking with my Jesus for so long. He will never let you die bride in a disgusting, gross way. And you're sorry, it's early in the morning. My nose is still there waking up. I have like... I'm a little stuffed up, but he's not going to let you, if this is the season of the rapture, you're seeing increase in birth pangs and people are like, I'm going to die of starvation and we're going to see some things. I'm telling you, don't be afraid, And uh, but, but I'm afraid, you know, you don't have to be afraid. He's coming for you. That's why he landed on my son and made him a prophet so that I would continue to give this message. You are going to see an increase. Don't be afraid when you see caravans coming to invade the USA Laugh with joy at the Lord that it is an in increase of birth pangs. And while the bride is here, by the way, you can declare that, no, peace will reside while I'm here. I'm going to see an increase of birth pangs. I'm going to see continued lawlessness. But while I'm here, no, I'm, there's not going to be a massive EMP. There's not going to be a massive civil war. No, God will scatter the, if we're still here and he doesn't take us before the migrant caravan arrives, God will scatter them. Because you have authority, bride, to say no, not while I'm here. Not while I'm here. I'm still here. This won't happen until I leave. But birth pains, yes. Will I see increase of it? Yes. But will I see mass casualty and mass death and mass starvation on a large tribulation scale? No. But we're always going to see trouble, as the world has seen from the beginning. And we're going to see the increase of it. But the bad, really bad stuff where we die and we're hiding in our homes. and all. No, God told my son that the life would continue as normal while the bride is here. Drinking, eating, drinking, giving in marriage, your dollar's going to work. Nothing's going to crash. Bride, take comfort in those words. I do because if I didn't have those words, I would be prepping and I'm not going to lie. I would be afraid because I was afraid before he fell on my son, which is why I was prepping. Okay. And, and, and I'm telling you, I'm not saying it's bad not to be somewhat prepared for, you know, having to leave your house for a day because of a birth pain or something. But here's what I'm telling you. I am telling you this boldly. Do not be afraid, Brian. And, the, and you don't have to fear EMPs and all these things while you are here. God is rapturing you up out of here before the big stuff comes. That's called tribulation and judgment. And you will not be here for that. He's taking you. Okay. This is specifically to the bride. I love you guys. He's coming. He loves you. I'm sorry if I haven't made much sense. <laughs> I'm just rambling really quick before the video cuts off. I've got to get to work. I'm going to go walk my dog now. I love you. He's coming. Don't be afraid. Look up and be excited and just declare your authority. No, I'm still here. Peace resides. D days in life keeps going on like normal. He's coming on a regular day, eating, drinking, giving in marriage. Nope. Migrant caravan, you're not scaring me. No civil war, no martial law. Not while I'm here. I will see an increase of trouble and I rejoice and I, 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 I welcome that because that means that I welcome the birth pangs because that's scriptural to welcome the birth pangs because Christ is coming. My redemption draws nigh, but you don't have to be afraid. He's coming. Eat through your supplies. He loves you guys. He loves you. He loves you. Eat well, eat, drink, and be merry. Christ is coming. Goodbye.